We are here with Gita Gutman with the Torah Academy and the Girls Middle School. And we just want to ask you a couple questions with what this means to you to have this new academy. If we can get this built, what would it mean to you for the, uh, for the school? So we believe that education means educating the entire child. So that means addressing the child's academic, social, emotional, psychological, physical needs, really developing all aspects of the child. So we really try to give the girls opportunities to have PE, physical education. If we were to have field space and tracks and, and give them the chance to have teams and the space in which to play the games, I think that would be very healthy and helpful not only for their physical growth and development, but also for, the, for their social development and boosting their confidence. That's one area. If we could have rooms, a real art room with all the tools and things necessary to really allow them to ex learn the skills of art and express themselves through, through art, I think that would it, enhance our program greatly. If we could have space for a proper science facility um, that would open up doors of opportunities for them to develop in that way as well as a computer lab so we are definitely trying the best that we can with the limited facility that we have at the moment but if we had opportunities to really enhance our program in all these different ways i think it would take our education our all-around education to a much greater level well, I thank you. Well, Boca Raton, it's your turn. You've heard the, the, the voice of the Torah Academy and the things that they would like you to talk about, and now it's the opportunity for you to come out and speak for them. On the 22nd of this month, there is gonna be an opportunity, there's a board meeting, where they're gonna decide the future of the Torah Academy. And it's a thriving academy. They're gonna succeed whether or not this is passed or it's not passed. However, the opportunity that they have to excel and to increase the opportunity of future growth is just tremendous. You, you've heard it from not only the educators themselves, but also their faculty, that they will have the ability to enrich the lives of their children and to enrich the lives of their community. When it comes to their community and the Orthodox Jewish population and living in the environment that they do, they have the ability to live, work, and play in, in the, the community settings that they do. And when they talk about being able to have from the education from preschool and that preschool um, environment to the geriatric and allowing them to work in that community and going off to the synagogue in that one area and not having to do anything outside of that community, that means a lot to them. And I think we owe it as a community to try to support them. We, we, we live in an advanced society where all of us come together of all faith. And why not come together as a faith, as a, as a community and allow us to support this great cause. We have an opportunity where a developer wants to do the right thing. They want to come together, they want to donate 26.4 acres to the sole purpose of education of our youth. There's no better future to our society than the education of our youth. And there's no better testament to our legacies than our youth. Let's come together as a community and send a message to our, um, our city council and say that we want to support this. And the best way of doing it is to reach out to them and tell them that we want to support this sale to this particular venture because they're going to donate this land. It's about a $10 million um, donation to specifically to the Torah Academy. Thank you once again for being involved. We look forward to Thank it. Thank you very much. And I appreciate you taking the time to meet with the Book of Voice.